Trombone scales are the foundation of making music. This might be something you've heard a lot from your teachers in the past, and it is true, but often what happens is we practice our scales over and over and over again with little to no improvement. So today I'm going to be showing you a practice technique I like to use with all of my students to practice your scales efficiently and learn them very quickly. A lot of times when we're practicing, we learn the key signature and learn the notes of the scale and then just play from beginning to end. That's not always the best way, however, to approach a scale. The method I'm gonna show you today is going to start with a few notes in the scale and adding on as we go. We're gonna be using our F major scale for this example. So our first two notes of our F scale are F and G. And what you're going to want to do is take those two notes and play them up and down like this. The next step is going to be to add on a note each time. So after our F and G, we have a natural. And you will continue that pattern up, adding your B flat next. Let me tell you why this is a very efficient practice technique. This is a method I like to call layering. You can think of it as layers on a cake. When we start with one layer, it makes things very easy. So one or two notes at a time. And then we add on, so we're repeating these notes over and over and really learning our scale. So next we would add our B flat. Another thing you may notice is I am practicing the scale very slowly. This is very important because it's going to allow you to really think about the notes. On trombone, a big pitfall we fall into is we can oftentimes learn slide positions, six, four, two, one, and so on, but we're not learning the notes behind the scale. And this is very important because as we mentioned, Scales are the foundation of music. Every piece of music we play is going to have a key tied to it. So if you master your scale, it's gonna make music playing a lot easier. So as you're going through and playing these notes slowly, I want you thinking that note name, F, G, A, B flat, so on. That way you're remembering notes and not just where that slide belongs. And as you're going through this, you will add a note on each time. So our next note would be C, D, E natural, and F. And then once you get to the top, you start working your way back down until you have your entire F scale. And by the time you get done with that, you'll be able to start throwing your scale into the scale pattern. I really hope this practice technique helps you. Let me know in the comments. And if you are looking for more trombone tips, make sure to visit my website, JacquelineFalcon.com. I'll leave that link below for you, and I'll see you all very soon.